Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So today I'll be teaching you guys my favorite launch options when it comes to gaming on Linux. And this is basically the command I use to actually get the games wrong, either neck to neck with Windows or even better in Windows at certain cases. Now, I will explain certain things before we get into it. Certain games like DirectX 11 games perform better on the Linux. But when it comes to games like less like DirectX 12, a lot of people think that the game just works better out of the box. I mean, there is some cases that this is actually is the case, but that's not all games to say. And you got to do certain tweaks that actually will make this possible, basically. So this is what I'm going to do today. Sorry, I'm looking at my freaking other monitors, just making sure I got them here. So yeah. So there's certain things that you could do that you could be neck to neck with Windows or you could be either a little bit behind. This is basically how I do it. Now, before that, before I get into that, I want to talk about something. I'm going to go on a little tangent Trump rep for a second because I got to address this because I think it's funny. So some people in the comments has told me Linux is for nerds or they've called me a nerd for using Linux and gaming on Linux. And you know, I know you're trying to be hurt, hurtful, but like that doesn't really hurt me. I wear that shit with pride. Do you know what's being called a nerd in the Linux community? That's like getting knighted as a Jedi. That's like getting the rank of Jedi Knight and the Jedi and the Jedi console. Like what the fuck? I mean, well, not Jedi console. That's like getting knighted. That's like rank of Jedi Knight. And and the Jedi Order. That's basically how I see it. That's a great title. Wait, I, okay, let me let me go on a little a little rant. So I remember when I was younger, um, I got put into private school for a time because my parents wanted me to get a better education. And I I'm I look like a fanboy basically. I got like that pretty boy face. And I remember the popular kids wanted me to hang out with them. And I was so freaking bored of my mind. All they talk about is like girl getting girls, who they want to fuck, all this shit. And I was so bored out of my mind. And I was like, I swear, if I got to fucking tolerate this one more second, I'm going to court Cobain my brains out. And I, w I remember sitting on the lunch table. And I, I saw this group of nerds that were fucking with the TV and the teacher's laptop that was playing whatever was in the projector. There were like kids that work in robotic. There was a bunch of like nerdy kids and like punk punks and goths were just screwing around with tech. And I started hanging out with them. And then like the popular kids that invited me to the table, they were really mad and they called me a betrayal or whatever. I didn't give a fuck. I'll be honest, I've always loved like that's literally who I am. I've always hung out with the nerds. I might not look like it, but I actually am. I, this has always been me. So calling me a nerd, I, I, I wear that shit with, with honor. Like, I love when people call me that. So, yeah, that was that little rant. Oh, I begged my parents to put me in military school because then after a year, all my friends, like my nerd, like, my group, they all graduated and I was stuck there and I had to hang out again with the popular kids and I freaking hated it. So I begged my mom to let me sign up for military school. And she did eventually after begging forever, <laughs> she let me go into military school. I know, so weird. Who wants to get put in military school? Hey, it's not as bad as a sound. I know some people are skilled in military school. It's not what you think. I actually had a lot of fun in military school. You'll be surprised how many metal hats there's in middle school. Pretty cool. Anyway, so, <laughs> so these are basically the launch options that you're going to use this you're going to use this to launch your steam games whatever you want so i got two variations right here i got this one right here it's the optimizations and i'll be explaining what each section means this is the optimization without frame generation and then this other variation it's like almost the same thing but enables frame generation now right here I got written what each means. So you could probably save it into a notepad. All my commands are always going to be in the description. I always do that. I always put all my commands in the description so you guys could just copy and paste. So for our first one, so there's 
a naval and NVAPI equals one. So what does it do? So it forces proton to to expose and and v pat I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, interface for Windows games. Why does it matter? Well, normally Proton doesn't really enable this by default. This allows the games to rely on NVIDIA only fixtures like reflexes, um, low latency mode, or DLSF, like which means deep learning super sampling, to actually work on Linux like they would on Windows, basically. Because like a lot of these commands I'm going to show you, that's that. This one right here, a lot of commands. Sometimes, you know how people have, you know how on Windows you have like that one app, NVIDIA app, and even if the game doesn't support DOSS or frame gem, it's still built into the game. So you could use that NVIDIA GeForce app or whatever to actually force them into games that are not compatible with that. But you could actually, even if it's not a neighboring game, you could actually expose that and actually run it like that. Well, a lot of these commands are kind of like that. Even a game that doesn't have it, you can actually enable them through here because NVIDIA is too lazy to make an app. <laughs> so this is what it does. So yeah, it enables that. Now there's one called Proton NGX Update. This one right here, Proton NGX Updater. So what does this exactly do? Well, it unlocks NVIDIA NGX aka the narrow graphics updater service inside Proton. This is a backend service that keeps DOS as model up to date. And why, why should I care? Okay, so without this, um, games might be stuck on like an old DOSS version or it felt initialized DOSS pro properly. With this, you get like the DOSS quality and improvement performing boost just like Windows users get, pretty much. Now, which one is it? This one, this long old dig old command right here. So, DXVKMBDSR NGX DOS SR override render preset selection render equals preset latest. <sighs> Woo! Okay, that was a long command. So what's that it do? It tells, you know, the translation there for DXVK and and MVP layer to override the game DOS has, has preset and always use the newest one available. Why does it matter? Well, some dash sheet games with comes yeah, some some dash ship games with comes conservative. Conservative. Sorry, my English horror. And a lot of the DOS profiles are out of date. So to play it safe, this kind of just forces Proton to actually run the latest DOS as and the best preset, which means sharper image and better performance. So, and you know this channel, we love performance. Now, this one is simple. The DX frame rate equals one. This one kind of just caps your frames. Feel free to actually change this to whatever you want. So sometimes VSync or when you're trying to cap frames, it doesn't work in the game. And when you enable Mango Hot, you still see the freaking frame rate going up, even though you chose VSync and you want the game to actually cap the frames. So this one, you want to put it to whatever frames you want right here. You can replace it to whatever you want. I personally stream, so I tend to cap things at 144. So, you know, less like intensive on my computer while I'm streaming or recording. So yeah, that's what it does. Now, Game Moron. Game Moron, this is basically the same thing that you use game mode on Windows. So basically, this, this enables feral game mode. It's a Linux daemon that dynamically tweaks the system for gaming. Why does it matter? Well, it boosts your CPU governor to performance, so you don't got to do it via the terminal or use CPU power or do anything crazy. It prevents problem save. It prevents power saving throttles in case your computer goes into auto power save mode and it adapts if you're on a laptop or whatever. Um, and it also gains the game the game higher game. Uh, ugh. Gift the game higher process priority. So in other words, 
your game is going to be prioritized over anything. So you have less frames dropped and less performance drops because it, like, it's just prioritized. Um, so yeah, gives it higher process priority. Now, it also gives um, optional tweaks to your IO priority and your GPU clocks. So it helps that. So it's basically like running into maximum game power. This is basically what it does. And then Mango Hot, this one is pretty easy. This one, you don't have to have this one if you don't want. This is basically like Mango Hot is, it displays your francs per second in case you don't want to use the Steam one. So, and then Command, it, it, it's just a placeholder. It's just, it's like a game is secure, but it just tells you, do this now. So that's basically what it does. Now, let's go to the second one. This one's the Proton Variation. So, let me look for it. This one right here. So, I'm not going to go over the other ones because I already explained that one. But DXVK and allow other exit. This last DXVK MVP Expose Astra um, NVIDIA drivers extension needed by frame generation. Because sometimes, for some reason, they don't pop in the game sometimes. So this kind of forces to expose this in the game. Because sometimes, like, frame generation would show up in the Windows game. But then when you run it in Proton, sometimes it's just, it's there, but it doesn't pop out. Some games do that. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't freaking know why. But this exposes them. Now, DXVK driver default. So this one right here. So it makes short, short games see default and video driver behavior so they don't disable reflex or frame generation when you think that you're missing um, pieces, you know, like I said earlier. And now for the final one, this one right here. Now this is, oh baby. Now this is, this is, this is the, this is the juicy one. So. GLDOS frame generation equals one. So this one is a big one. It tells the NVIDIA driver to enable DOSS three or four or whatever frame generation. And while this, the game will really like expose frame generations in some instances, they kind of do a little bit of the same, but they need to work together in order to work. You got to put these all together. So that's basically what it does. And yeah, so these are my favorite commands. Now, let's go into Steam. Um, I know there's there's um a setting where you could actually put these where you could add a um where is it? I know there's an area here. Or used to. Oh man, they got rid of it. So there used to be a little box here, and you could set launch options automatically to all your games. Like, for example, if, uh, I don't know, let's go back to that notepad. Was it this the one? So you just copy them or whichever, whether you want this one or that one. You just copy these. And then let, let's let see if I want Expedition. So you go right here. Okay, let me erase these. So you put this bitch right here. Boom, close it, launch the game, and everything's to work. And yeah, these are the optimizations I actually do. That are, I, I made this video because I see a lot of people that game and they have Linux gaming channels, but no one really talks about the commands they actually put to optimize your game. And I just thought I would do this because I like doing a lot of like tips and tricks like this for Linux gaming. Because this is a topic that a lot of Linux gamers and like Linux people don't really talk about. And I, I feel kind of crazy that no one has taught this to anyone. Like I know these commands because every time NVIDIA launches like a new update for the NVIDIA drivers, I go to the Linux forum instead of like, you know, the official NVIDIA when they launch their drivers. And I look at all those new commands and I just read through their whole articles of everything that's new. And so I just copy that, slap that bitch into a freaking notepad save it for later and boom i should put those in my launch options and yeah so if you guys found this video helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always stay spooky stay weird and remember you guys need tricks tips you guys need 
want to reach out to me, you need help with something, troubleshooting, you want me to make a video on a certain topic, comments are there below in the comments. Leave everything. You know what I mean, okay? Okay, as always, stay spooky, stay weird, and bye. Dum da di lam, vacat s'en va dans l'oubli éternel. Et gusta dom guardiam, di 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 di, l'oute sera dori lam, sera. Dim dim da 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 dim dim da 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 dim da di lam, dim dim da 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 dim. Da 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 dim.